welcome back to my channel. So today I have an interesting product to try out with you guys. It's the new As Seen on TV Magic Minerals Air Cushion Skin Care Makeup Foundation by Jerome Alexander. This is what it looks like. Now you can find this in like that section by the checkout lines at Walmart. I believe Michael got this one for me at CVS or Walgreens. And they have like their own section for like the As Seen on TV stuff. So I don't know what he was doing there. I think it was about a vitamins or something. And he happened to find this. He said it was the only one they had. And he is a man, so he knows nothing about shades and matching skin tones whatsoever. So this may be too dark for me. But I thought, what the hell, I'm still gonna try it, you know? So this air cushion skincare makeup foundation claims to reduces lines and wrinkles, wrinkle relaxing and elasticity, hydrate skin. And then one of these, cause it has three, it, it's a pack, right? So we have the liquid foundation, then we have a liquid silk under makeup primer, and then we have this cute little sponge right here. It says, plus skincare and a unique liquid air cushion sponge compact, liquid mineral foundation. It contains Jerome Alexander skincare makeup clinical level blend of skincare actives. And it's got like a little sponge in the back, but you know, I might not use it. Okay, so I was reading the back, and this does claim it can either be a light coverage foundation or it can be a medium coverage foundation, but it does not claim to be full coverage whatsoever. It all depends on how you, how much pressure you apply to the cushion, this thing right here. So it says if you want medium coverage, which is probably what I'm gonna be doing, you wanna do like medium pressure. For light coverage, you wanna do light pressure. So we will see how this goes. I will leave the description and like everything that it says back here, like things that you would love to know in the description bar below. Okay, so so far the first thing that I have negative to say about this liquid mineral foundation set is that there are no instructions whatsoever. Um, but I guess you kind of already know what to do, right? So they give you a primer and then they give you the foundation and a makeup sponge. I'm gonna use the primer first, let it soak in. Do all my eyebrows off the camera and then come back and we will apply the foundation. I don't know if one pump is enough. We'll see. Okay. It did say that it's going to have, I believe, a matte finish. So that's probably why this primer is really soft. It's an oil, though. Yeah, I believe it's like an oil. This feels good on the skin. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be really, like something sticky and like not pleasant to the skin. But no, this feels good. Okay, so now that I've done pretty much most of my face, we're just gonna have to do the foundation. Now, this foundation came with this little sponge, and it also came with this little sponge. I use makeup sponges, like I'll get them wet, and then I'll use them while they're moist or damp. So I went and got this wet, and, and you know, squeezed the water out, but um, it's not much bigger. So I'm kind of confused. Anyways, that's how we're gonna use it. I did wet my makeup sponge just in case I'm not happy with how any of these products are working. Here we go. This is what it looks like. It's plastic. Open it. That's a flap. And see, this is what made me think that it might not be my shade. Just the color of this out here. Let's hope it is. Let's see. Oh, it might, might match me. Huh. We shall see. It blended really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out with this one first, just because it came with it. Will I probably use it again? And it's got a mirror right here. So it says for light coverage, press lightly. I want medium coverage, so press more than normal. I don't even know how to use this little sponge. Should I tap? I 
this thing is like sliding all around. It doesn't fit my finger, so let me show you. Okay, well, y'all saw. Um, it feels light on the skin. That's a good thing. I don't really want to use this anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and try to use this one that they sent. And see how it goes. Oh, I just drenched that. <laughs> It's so small. And this is actually really hard. It's not, it doesn't even like push in. Like this is not squishy at all. But I feel like it's doing a good job at building the product. So we're going to do this side with this one, and then we're going to do the other half with my sponge. Okay, so I've done this side of my face with this little sponge, and as I do the rest of this face, I will kind of let y'all know what happened. Cool makeup sponge, like it's good. I would use it again, but it's not bouncy like mine. See, you can just hear the bounciness, and it is stiff. I couldn't figure out the right word, but it's stiff. However, it being stiff, I feel like it allows you to pack on the makeup, like build it up. So that's good. And the little pointy tip for the inner, like right here and for right here, worked pretty well. I was I was surprised about that part. But I just didn't like that it was so stiff. That was my only complaint with the actual makeup sponge. Now this little guy right here, I don't recommend anyone use this. It's not good. It was like sliding all over the place. I didn't like how I had to grip it. I just didn't feel like it was really good whatsoever. I'm kind of jelly because that this little makeup sponge got in my creases better than mine. Whatever. But that's what I was saying. I think I would use it again probably for this area right here. My nose and stuff. Because it really did get all in there like right here. I can't ever get in there with any of my makeup sponges. But that little guy was like, yeah, perfect for that. And I really like that mine can cover more ground. <laughs> All right. So it didn't come with a setting powder. And it says, I believe it said it was supposed to dry matte. I don't believe it because this does not feel matte whatsoever. Natural matte finish glides on easily and comfortably. At this point, the foundation was still dewy and not matte. Before I set it, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like up close. So this is my makeup sponge and mine is from e.l.f. $5. This is the makeup sponge, the itty bitty little one that came with this set. Which one do you like better? I kind of actually like, for real, for all, like this side better for some reason. I don't know why. 
maybe I packed on too much makeup with mine but I thought I packed on a lot with this one as well but no I don't know I just like this one better for some reason okay so now I can finally give you my honest opinion about this this and this this is cute I like this I think it's super cool I will be using this again it's a little stiff but it will be all right the primer felt so good when I was going on I felt like it was moisturizing my face but I have an issue with the foundation and I don't know if it's the primer that came with it I will definitely be using the foundation again but only to try it out with my other primers and other moisturizers and see if I can make this work a little bit better this I will be using it on its own to see if I liked it to see if I even really do like it I loved how it, it was an oil and it was a primer and my face felt really soft and like moisturized I thought it was pretty cool I've never used a silk primer so I like this itself like I said I don't know if it was the primer I don't know what it was but I will be trying it again just to give it a second try just to see if I was right about what I had issues with I've touched this foundation up already like twice in my forehead I have fine lines on my forehead and right after I applied it and I set it with a powder it says I'm not supposed to, I, well it doesn't really say whether or not I'm supposed to or it doesn't all it says is that it has a matte finish do I felt like it went to a matte no I didn't did I give it a pretty long time after I applied it um kind of but usually right away once you apply foundations and they claim to be matte finishing you can tell they're on their way to being matte this felt dewy it still felt dewy whenever I applied all the stuff and right now it still feels dewy so this is not a matte foundation they lied like I said the only places that I touched up was my forehead it started breaking apart after I said it my fine lines were coming through the foundation was breaking apart right in my lines and on the box it says read that part reduces fine lines and wrinkles no it does not reduce fine lines and wrinkles it accentuated them so much more like oh my gosh I looked like an old granny after I applied it and I set it and then I looked up again I was like oh I need to touch this up so what did I do to touch this up I went back in with the sponge and I applied more foundation over the powder just like that and then I set it again and now that I'm talking you can kind of see the lines again but the foundation isn't breaking apart this time I don't know if maybe it was a powder Maybe it was a powder because right now they're not so bad. But oh my gosh. Like I went like this and all of a sudden you saw the line from like here all the way this way. And my wrinkles aren't even that bad. Like at all. I have lines right here around my mouth. And before I did all of everything that I have done already, my lines were starting to peek through. So I have really, really mixed feelings about this. But before this video goes up, I will be trying it again. And in the description bar below from this video, you, I will let you know whether or not I think this works or not. And after the second time, I'll know. Because this time I used what it came with. The next time, I'm going to use what I normally use. And if it doesn't work with that, it doesn't work, period. So this is the new As Seen on TV Magic Minerals Air Cushion Skin Care Makeup Foundation by Jerome Alexander. So this is the new As Seen on TV Magic Minerals Air Cushion Skin Care Makeup Foundation by Jerome Alexander. So that's it for this As Seen on TV review. I hope you enjoyed it. I have really mixed feelings about things and makeup products. I have never felt so strongly about something in my life. So like I said, please check the description bar down below so that you know what's up. And I'll see you in my next video.